whether it's my birthday, Christmas, Mother's Day, I always seem to acquire a lot of these hair masks, face masks and foot masks. So I keep them in this really simple basket here. I organise all of my cosmetics. So let's take a look inside and see what we've got. So the first mask that I've come across is the foot peel mask, the tea tree and peppermint. I don't know about you, but my feet tend to either get really warm or really cold. And when they're really warm, tea tree and peppermint is so soothing. I've yet to actually try this one by Derma V10. And it's one, one treatment and it's actually exfoliating as well. So no doubt that uh, your feet will be completely smooth after this uh it does say it starts working within seven to ten days and um, i don't know enough about this product because like i say i've not tried it but uh the fact that it's tea tree and peppermint certainly is appealing to me so place that one there next one i have is this one so this one's um again by derma v10 it is a hair sheet mask again i've not tried this product personally uh but i do i do swear by hair masks um uh, i tend to experiment a lot with colors on my hair i try to keep my hair in really good and healthy condition but i have noticed a huge huge difference when i've been using hair masks now the ones i usually use are the ones in the tub i'm currently using pantene at the moment and so i put that on and i have i've noticed just after one use with the hair mask the pantene hair mask that it did make a, an absolute amazing amount of difference so let me try that one the next time I wash my hair. So let's have a look what else I've got here. So this is another tea tree and peppermint foot pack. Now maybe this is a thing where it's always going to be tea tree and peppermint for your feet. So you get that nice soothing feeling. And trust me, tea tree and peppermint really do work on, on, on your skin. It, it, it just, it really feels like you're almost being like, massaged and it's just that soothing effect that, that it does give so the next one i'm going to show you is the prep and perfect illuminating priming sheet mask again i've not tried this um but the fact that it is a sheet mask uh, i'm very I, th I think like with sheet masks with me i i just i've got a thing about them i, th I think they're, they're really good there's something about having that that sheet mask on your face as you're lying in the bathtub and and you've got that sheet mask on and it's really soothing you can feel it working and there's there's no completely washing off a product or or peeling a product off and you just literally leave it lift the sheet off your face and that's it job done so i have two two more sheet masks here um one's got aloe vera aloe vera rather extract and the other one's enriched with cactus extract so i've never tried cactus before um that sounds like really appealing to me that cactus Cactus may make you think of something sharp and needles and <laughs> things like that, but obviously they're not going to stick those in. Well, at, at least I hope they haven't, but I'm sure that they haven't. Um, they are actually suitable for vegans as well. I'm personally not a vegan. However, if you are, these face masks would be absolutely ideal for you. Place those there. And get to the smaller one so this is a face mask an anti-wrinkle one so if you don't want to get ring if you want to avoid wrinkles and um, this will certainly help you to achieve your goal it is 
green tea whether it's got the um the same benefits as uh peppermint and tea tree uh, that soothing cooling effect uh, again i've not used that one but um it does actually come with um collagen as well so let's take a look at the next ones so i don't know i'll know that they're not the same i have that many i really don't know what i've got here so we've got the pink rose clay mask by seventh heaven i personally love seventh heaven face masks especially the clay products um i never used to try the clay products i always used to go for those um those stick on masks the peel off ones um and i used to swear by them so if someone uh, gifted me a, a clay mask i used to be like mm, i'm not really sure whether i'd want to use that on my face however i absolutely swear by the clay masks as well in fact they are my personal favorite because although it's like at that mud mud clay effect on your face once you wash it off it is oh your skin feels adorable it really does it's so smooth like babies so this next one I've got is Pink Oxygen Bubble Mask by 7th Heaven. Now again, I've not used this one. Uh, the fact that it's a bubble mask really appeals to me. It's probably because of the title of it. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna use that just to see what the effects are and I'll get back to everybody on how that worked out for me. So now I have this uh, strawberry cream one and this is again by 7th Heaven. Uh, the fact that it's a cream one, a bit like the, the clay, it's, it's that feeling. It does wash off easily as well, a lot more easily than the peel off. Now you might think the peel off masks, you just peel them off and you know it's minimal but you try getting that stuck in like the hairs on your face and your nostrils. <laughs> And trust me, it's not pleasant, especially when you feel like you've peeled every last bit off and then like you look in the mirror and it looks like your skin is flaking. So I have a couple, ooh, I have more than a couple of um, charcoal peel off masks again by 7th Heaven. And those who do gift me these do know that I do like the Seventh Heaven products. So I've got four of the charcoal peel off ones. Now, yes, I know it's a peel off mask. I've not personally tried this one as well. Um, but charcoal, I love charcoal. Now, I don't know if anyone who's viewing this has ever used like charcoal face facial scrub and uh, the facial wash they are really really good no matter who who makes it the, the product no matter how it's how it's branded trust me charcoal is amazing for the skin so the next ones i've got are i've got this this peel off or two peel off masks here uh, I will try them I'm not going to let them go to to waste like I say I'm a little bit um peel off mask I have lost the appeal <laughs> um, excuse the pun on that but it's because I do like the feeling of the of the sheet masks and of the mud masks as well but definitely the mud masks are my favorite however peel off masks do work they they are really really good they do make your skin feel so refreshed it does help to get rid of all those dead skin cells but like i say it's just the the irritating part of if you peel it off and you haven't quite done it because you haven't quite put as much of the mask on a certain area of your face uh, you, you know you've missed a spot and then as you've like as you're peeling it off 
and you know it can just you, you can just leave bits behind so as long as you know what you're doing with them um, you, you may be a lot better at applying them than what i am i'm no expert at applying face masks so um let's have a look so cucumber this is like a classic isn't it the cucumber peel off uh cucumber is very good uh, people swear by it don't they especially actually putting raw cucumber on your eyes as depicted in the picture here it does help um to get rid of any swelling around your eyes any bags around your eyes now the next one i've got here is the ice cream clay face mask that sounds like fun and uh, so definitely i think i'm going to use this one the next time i pamper myself it that one's in vanilla there's also one in strawberry here as well uh, so they look quite uh, pretty uh, again they're, they're good if like you want to use vegan products doesn't mean you've got to eat them <laughs> even though it's ice cream and says vegan please don't eat them and then i've got like a seventh he heaven superfood blueberry mud mask um so again it's another mud mask and um yeah i i, I love blueberry blueberries have got so many healing properties haven't they like um is it the, we call them an antioxidant or something and here i have a a buffer foot mask i think it's or is it yeah i think it's a, definitely a foot mask um and that's in banana so not the usual tea tree and peppermint but a uh, banana for your feet so again bananas are healthy but um whether they work as a foot mask i don't know i'm sure that they do and another one here is the coconut rescue mask and this is for hair um, so coconut is amazing for hair. I do tend to use a lot of products uh, with coconut in them for my hair, like washing my hair, conditioner. I do, I do love coconut. It, it suits my my hair type, and it, it does it does help it to look and feel healthy. And finally, the next one I have is the it doesn't slide off the Nivea face mask i love nivea i use that as a face cream rather than buying like a purpose a purpose face cream uh, i i do use nivea at my my nana my grandmother used to swear by it and she was she was around about 80 when she passed away and her skin was so smooth, like she did not have a wrinkle. She was like a China, she had that China doll face and she, her skin was amazing. So I've always remembered what she said about using Nivea. She swore by it. I think it, it certainly helps. So anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed watching my video. If you've enjoyed it, please hit the like button. Please help my channel to grow. It'll mean so much. I do appreciate everyone who has taken the time to watch this video. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll just show you a quick view of all my hair masks, face masks and feet masks. See you in the next video.